Hello, Rose. Yes, doctor. Can you hear me very well? Yes, I can. Okay. You are trying to test your 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 sound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm testing my sound because you told me the other time it was not clear. Yeah, you're very clear today. Okay, and my camera? Mm, very clear. Okay. Yeah, uh, Richard didn't give you the, 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 the background. Yeah, he did not. Oh, okay. So I just had to put Makere. Okay, thank mm. you. You know this? Me? Home? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have members today home. disturbing mm. you. You don't have members behind you disturbing you. I will now them out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there are many. Mm. Uh, but this internet do my mm. Yeah, I don't mind which starts by saying it's unstable. <laughs> this early. But most of us uh, <laughs> you're on air tip. No, I'm now using Yeah. I, I can see the effect already. Hello. Smile. Yes, Christine. Hi. Hello. Hi, Dr. Mayende. Dr. Mayende, you seem to be in a place that has poor internet. Yes, uh, that's what I was telling him. Are you in office? No, I have a... I was on MTN, but I've now changed it to Smile. Actually, you are now better. This is very yes, clear I've, now. Okay. Constance, you're welcome. Okay. Hello. Hello. Happy to see you, Constance. Um, Hello. Nice to see you too. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We missed you during the dry run, but it is understandable because you had communicated before. So that's why I didn't bother you. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I guess we are going to give our colleagues a few more minutes and then we can start. Okay. And you tell maybe a few minutes uh, late as well. Okay. okay. But she's coming. All right.
fourth. Very welcome to our fourth echo session. We are still waiting for a few other people to log in and then we should be able to start. Otherwise, you're very welcome. In the meantime, we are going to be projecting uh, the housekeeping slides. Uh, kindly rename yourself, um, indicate your names and the organization or country you're coming from. So you can keep looking at the housekeeping slides as we wait for a few other members to come in. Just two or three minutes and then we start. Okay. Once again, uh, you are welcome colleagues, uh, members of this uh, e-learning community of practice. We are really happy to have you today. I know we are continuing to wait for other colleagues to join, but in the meantime, uh, we can use this time to go through our housekeeping rules. We are not going to go into uh, details because they are being projected. And then we shall allow a few people to introduce themselves and uh, we should be ready to start. So my name is Christine Muhumuza. I work with Afrohun and uh, I'll be the session coordinator today. So we really request you to rename yourself, uh, indicate your names, as well as the organization or country that you're coming from. But also, uh, we request you to limit uh, the chat room to only what is relevant for this session, as usual. But in case you have any IT-related issues or challenges, kindly text um, ECHO IT your challenge, and they should be able to quickly help you. Uh, we also request that as much as possible, uh, keep your video on, especially if your bandwidth doesn't compromise, uh, especially when you're talking so that we can get to know each other and uh, ensure that your microphones are muted as long as you are not speaking. If you want to speak, you can raise up your hand and unmute and speak once given the opportunity. But also key to note is that this session is being recorded and uh, we shall share the recordings by email, but also on our Slack platform. So you will be able to access this uh, moving forward. Once again, you're very welcome. We have a French interpretation as usual. And uh, if you're a French speaker, you can actually just give me a thumbs up in case you're hearing this, the French. Please give me a thumbs up, then we should be able to know that the French interpretation is going on well. Otherwise, today's session is going to be very unique. It's very unique. Sorry, it is hands-on and uh, I am sure that we are going to enjoy. So, 
we want to give an opportunity to two or three people in case you have not introduced yourself before and you are on this platform. You remember we were introducing ourselves in uh, cohorts. So in case you have not introduced yourself before, unmute yourself and uh, in less than a minute, introduce yourself. Tell us who you are and where you're coming from. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Yes, Alice, go ahead. Yeah, I'm Alice Nirazidama. I'm from University of Rwanda in Rwanda. Thank you. Thank you, Alice. Anybody else? OK. Yes. So, I'm Judy Georgette Makombu from Faculty of Agriculture and Veterinary Medicine, University of Boya, Cameroon. Thank you, Judith. You're very welcome. Thank Anybody? you so much. Yes. Anybody else? OK, so we are going to also introduce ourselves in the chat room, indicate your name and uh, your country, but also the organization you're coming from. Thank you very much. So at this point, uh, let me quickly take you through today's agenda. Again, like I did mention today, we are having hands-on. This is a very practical session. And in case you have not shared your details, please share them in the chat room. We should be able to create for you uh, login details in Kumudo moving forward. So we have already had introductions. Uh, we are going to hear from uh, Dr. Richard Kajumbura, who is going to take us through uh, a high level overview of uh, this session in terms of uh, what it takes to have a course online. And this will usher us into uh, a didactic presentation that is going to be made by Dr. Uh, Godfrey Mayende. Godfrey Mayende will be introduced by uh, Richard but he's going to take us through a hands-on practical for a full one hour. And after that, we are going to have a discussion. But in between, in case you have any comments, any questions, you can still paste them in the chat room. Uh, we are going to respond to them moving forward. After Dr. Richard, we're going to have a survey in case you're interested in uh, an attendance certificate. We request you to take a quick survey and uh, you should be able to receive a certificate. And later on, we shall have our own uh, regional program manager, Dr. Irene Naigaga, give us closing remarks and we shall call it a session. Thank you very much, colleagues. At this point in time, allow me to invite um, Dr. Richard Kajumbula to take us through the next session. Over to you, Richard. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Christine. Uh, good afternoon, good morning, uh, good evening, everyone. Um, today's session being uh, practical, uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm laying uh, a foundation for the practical session that is going to take place uh, today. And uh, mine is to give us some kind of review. We looked at um, how a practical course uh, looks like, but we are indeed going to, again, go back and see how an online uh, course looks like and what would prefer colleagues to have. So I'm going to transition to uh, the Magai University e-learning environment and I demonstrate one of the courses there. And as I demonstrate that course uh, once more, uh, because we did it in the last session, those of you who are with us, and I'm going to do it just a little bit more, but for about five minutes, we we'll give you a short tour, and as I take, I take you through the tour, I'll be talking about what it takes to put that course online. So allow me to uh, stop sharing this, and then I take you to the learning management system, where we can look at a course and its features, and then we shall see how we begin with the practical uh, 
uh, session. So let me go back to the home page of the course. So like any other facilitation environment, a course has a welcome message. It has the course name and the course code, and then a welcome message of the facilitator. So put a short message. It can also be a short video. A short message can be accompanied by a short video. And you can also show your picture, it's okay. So you must have prepared a, a photograph of you, like we said in the invitation that you have a picture of you and a short message. We set out some kind of short message, but that you can adapt to your course. So we're going to see how this photo and the message come to be in the model environment. And for, for colleagues who may not have got their login, login credentials to the, to the Afrohun uh, Moodle platform, please provide us your email address uh, in the chat and your name so that we, and maybe the course or subject that you wish to practice on so that we can we create for you login credentials that in the next 10 minutes when Dr. Mahinde starts the work, you can work uh, with us. So our course will have uh, this welcome message, brief about the course, and then you have some resources. So we can upload some documents, PDFs, uh, PowerPoint slides, uh, Word documents. So we shall have a section of the course, which is like a small mini library of your subject, the resources that you, you feel you need to upload. And shall look at how we upload these documents. Again, Dr. Mayende will take us through uploading. Then shall look at the different weeks, the content of the different weeks split into topics, beginning with the, an orientation week, then we shall see how we label these topics. So you prepare somewhere, some kind of outline of your topics, you'll be able to, to rename these sections, the different topics that are going to facilitate in your course. We're going to learn how to do this. How do you rename this section? How do you create a lesson where learners can go and study? We're going to see that. We're also going to see how you create discussion forums and for different activities. How do you create discussion forums in Moodle? And we shall also look at, if time allows, how you create quizzes. How do you create a quiz? Now, inside, inside a lesson, I'm just going to go back where I began with the week, weeks, these weeks. So for week, for example, week two, where this is my topic number one. Inside here, there is a lesson. And the tool we use is called the lesson tool, which Dr. Mayende will, will demonstrate. How do you create a lesson? How do you create a lesson? Sorry about this. How do you create a lesson? And we say last time that in instructional design, we must have intended learning outcomes. So you should have a section where you have intended learning outcomes of that topic and a brief indicative content of that topic. We're going to see how do you put intended learning outcomes? How do you put content? I know that we haven't yet gone through the instructional design detail of creating learning outcomes, but at least we can see how you put them here so that when we go through the briefs of how to create outcomes, then we come and make this a little bit better. Then how do you navigate? We are going to see how you navigate because a course needs to have some kind of easy navigation. So you put small chunks of material and learners navigate. So how do you put this button, which takes us to the next page? We shall see that again when Dr. Mayende comes in. And then we shall look at what we call activities, online activities. But we're not going to go into the detail of how do you create an activity because that is now instructional design. But we're going to see how do we put this content in here so that we can know how to maneuver. Then we're going, when we go back probably next month, look at instructional design, we shall see how do you create an online activity? What are the details that you need to include? We shall also see how you create links. How do you link interlink aspects inside a Moodle environment? Because you need to, to, to refer learners to different resources. How do you create these links so that a learner can access uh, the resources? So th th that's basically what we, we may cover today. But it's how a course is designed with activities, with the questions, with, with assignments to answer, with their respective deadlines. But today we're not going to go into that deep instructional design, but at least we shall look at the Moodle environment and how you put, just how do we, how do we populate basically? How do we populate? Then after we have gone through the, the detailed instructional design, then we shall come back and make it a little bit neat. But today, the focus of Dr. Mayende is to see how we put material in here. So you don't worry that you're not prepared activities, you're not prepared this, don't worry. At least you will practice how to, to type in here and output resources. Then in our next meeting, we shall see 
how to put this right, how do you organize a proper activity page. But we thought we needed to introduce the Moodle structure. And of course, I can uh, navigate back to the home page of the course. So wherever Elana is, we should be able to navigate back to the home page of the course. So this is what I wanted to demonstrate that the challenge we have, we may have the instructional design knowledge, but then the technical knowledge of maneuvering around the Moodle environment, we may need that knowledge. So we may have all our resources somewhere, but how do we uh, organize those resources in a Moodle environment? So that's what I wanted to share with you. But I can open, I'm going to stop sharing this and I briefly in the next like four minutes, open up for discussion. If you have some a comment about what I have said or what you foresee or your expectation in the practical session, you can as well um, raise it here. You can either type in the chat or you can unmute the microphone and speak. We have about four minutes to usher in uh, Dr. Mayende. So over to you, colleagues. If you have a comment, you have something you, you maybe want to clarify, if there's something maybe you want him to include as he speaks into the practical, you can raise it now. Because we have about three minutes. And I still want to remind you that um, in case you don't have login details to the Afrohorn model environment, which we're going to use for practicing today, please provide us with um, your names, your email address, and the name of the course or subject that you wish to use for practicing in here so that we can create for you credentials. That as Dr. Mayende works, we, we work together. We're going to be working together uh, as a team. And um, I'm pressing that don't, you don't have to panic so much about uh, the Google link for, for registration. We can register after Dr. Mayende has displayed. I really, really want you to pay attention to Dr. Mayende's practical uh, session. And, and it's going to be done in such a way that you will do something and we'll be requesting you to also do it. And so we, shall, we may at one point request some of you to share your screens and we see how you're progressing in the environment. Otherwise, uh, I don't know whether there are any questions. I don't know whether anybody has a comment. Otherwise, I, let me. Uh, yes, please. Okay, I don't know. Christine, is that for us? Um, I think not. Okay. So I think I can uh, work. Uh, yes. Someone, someone wants to say something? I think I can then introduce uh, Dr. Mayende. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, uh, colleagues, I would like to introduce to you Dr. Godfrey Mayende. He's the director of the Institute of Open distance and e-learning here at Macquarie University with vast experience in e-learning, including a PhD in e-learning. And he has been working with the Moodle for some long time. He has researched, researched and written papers on the Moodle platform. He's part of the, the international Moodle community. So he's so up, up to date with Moodle and he's going to present to us a practical session to teach us how to navigate the Moodle platform. So I would like to welcome Dr. Mayende. And uh, Dr. Mayende, welcome to the Afro Hoon. Uh, Regional Virtual Community of Practice uh, session. This is the fourth session. And uh, these sessions are aimed at uh, improving our e learning uh, knowledge and skills, especially during this time of the pandemic. And so today we are in the Moodle platform. I welcome you to please uh, address us. So over to you, Dr. Mayende. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Richard, for that uh, introduction. And I'm also very happy to be here in this community of Afrohorn. Uh, I will just share, start by sharing my presentation screen just before I dive into the. Okay. Uh, here we uh, is my short presentation, but my, many of the things we are going to do are going to be practical. But I start with giving the, the presentation that I'm going to show. 
but usually as the, 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 the teacher in me sometimes tells me to ask people to type one in the chat if they are able to see my screen. Because that also helps me to know that uh, behind the scenes there are people. So you can just type a one in the chat so that I can just know that you're able to say, okay, perfect. Uh, I, I can, this, uh, as Richard has already mentioned, actually this, uh, this is me, uh, Godfrey Mayende, uh, currently the director and the, the lecturer in the Institute of Open Distance and E-Learning at Makerere University. And I'm going to give you a glimpse of uh, practical into using Moodle platform. So majority of the discussions will be around that area. So basically, uh, what am I going to cover? Just in a nutshell, so that before I go to the practical side, I'm going to cover the Moodle LMS. How do we get to the Moodle LMS? Uh, I'm going to cover the logging in. How do you log into the learning management system? I'm going to cover the welcome, show you how to put in the welcome message. This is what uh, Richard has already shown, and you'll be able to see how that is done. And uploading files or profile photos and also your file and the resources and tools, uploading documents like P PPT or PDF, doc, images, how you can be able to upload that, linking to vital resources, how do you link to the vital resources, renaming the sections as the, uh, Richard has, in, has told us, uh, creating and populating lessons, uh, which we have seen, creating discussion forums and uh, creating quizzes. So basically, this practical session becomes more handy, as Richard has said, when somebody has undergone the instruction design process and he has already documents, he has already prepared quite a number of documents in place so that they can be able to just upload. But we are just going to have that glimpse of how do you go in, how do you insert this? I have prepared some of those documents that I will be able to do. But this is going to be practical. That means each of you will be required to have their login into the, into the platform and they can be able to log in as I go on. It's not going to be uh, me just talking, but we shall also be trying to say, what have you done? Can you show us if you have been able to do it? If you have a challenge, we can be able to get to you. Uh, so basically here I have the practical uh, demonstration that I, I'm going to, I can now, uh, I can put this away now and the, uh, get back to the practical sessions. So we are going to see how do we access our, our Moodle environment. So to access Moodle environment, I'm just going to type in the chat. Uh, let me, oh, I have sent to, need to send to everybody. I have typed in the chat the URL that takes us to the, to the afrohorn.org learning environment. So please, you should do, you should be able to get there. And if you are able to get to that, uh, this platform, uh, if you have been able to start this platform and you have opened it, like and you are where I am now, you can type two in the chat, because I need to know <laughs> if you are able to, to reach there so that we can try to find those who need to be uh, helped. Okay, I can see one person has been able to, to do that. Uh, someone has said he's there. So that means the second person is also there. I am there. So I'm assuming that uh, uh, we are all into now the, the platform environment. And if you don't have a, a login, then you can ask, uh, you, can let, uh, uh, you can let Richard know and then they will create for you in the background. So once, once I am in the, in the platform the way I am now, I'm inside the platform, I can be able to log in. And the login is just at the, on the sides here. Uh, you can log into the Moodle platform on the sides here. So you click on login. And when you click on login, it brings for you a login screen. Uh, a login screen here is showing us that uh, we have a, uh, uh, this is a, a login screen and you can put in your username and you can put in the password uh, to be able to log in at this point. So when you, 
you are, you are able to log in here and I know you have your credentials for logging in. So I'm just going to click on login. You click on login when you enter the username and enter the password. Then you click on login. Uh, login uh, is going to take me to, uh, to the course inside my platform. So I am here inside uh, my course. And I want to pause at that point and still ask uh, if, because we want everybody to be part of the process. Uh, if you have been able to log in to the, to the platform, uh, you can also type a three in the chat so that I can be able to know that you actually have been able to log into the chat. Because we need to find if there's any challenge with somebody, we can be able to solve that instantly at, before it gets out of hand. So you can type a three. I can see that uh, some three people have been able to type a three that they have been able to get to, to their course. Uh, I'm going to ask, uh, I'm going to ask Muhumza. Muhumza, you can share your screen just for us to see uh, so that the other members can also view uh, that you have been able to log into the system. Oh, sorry, sorry, not, I think someone else. Uh, Anthony Tugumanawe, Tugumanawe. Please, Tugumanawe, can you share your screen? And we see if you have been able to log in and we see what. Okay. Great. So you can be able to see that you have been able to, you can, you can stop. Uh, anyone who wants to share their screen as well? Okay. Okay, no one. Yeah, but that gives, okay, good. Yes, we can see you have logged in and, the, and once the login is done, once you are logged in, your name is going to appear somewhere. Uh, I know you are, your picture is not there, but at least you are, your name is somewhere, so you can be able to have your name there. And here we are going to have a dashboard, and under the dashboard, we shall be able to see the courses where we belong. Now, like me, I have this course of a demo course, which I'm going to use to demonstrate, but each of you, when you log in, you're finding your courses in the dashboard, one of the courses that you are set on to do. So you have a course in, a, in your in your dashboard. Uh, if you want to, if you want to, okay, yes, so you have that course in the dashboard. Uh, I will just now click on the, uh, click on your course. You can now go to your course. Click on your course and you will be able to see that in under your course, there's announcements, there are different topics that you have inside your course you can be able to see that you have those inside your course. So you can see topic one, topic two, topic three, and many others, and uh, you can be able to, to get there. Okay, once you have been able to go to your course, uh, I'm assuming everyone has gone to their course. The, the, the thing is we need to make sure that when we are in our, inside our course, then we are going to be able to work within the course to develop what Richard was actually trying to show. So basically what, uh, uh, just, uh, just in the chat, I mean, not in the chat, but you can just uh, raise your hand if you are, you are able to, you have logged in well. If you have a challenge, please you can send a, a message, pri maybe private message to Richard and they can try to fix you out. But once you have logged into the system, that is this component. You have uh, the participants in the course you have logged in. Uh, the course code is there, uh, my courses. And on this other side, on the right-hand side, uh, we have uh, what we call the turn editing on. Turn editing on because we want to develop our course and you cannot develop it without turning editing on. The rule for Moodle is basically, you must turn editing on to be able to edit. But to have this component of turning editing on, you must be having teacher rights. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure you all have teacher rights in the courses that they have, created you, they have created for you. So you click on turn editing on.
yeah, turn anything on, uh, pops up some things with the crosses, show that they can, yeah, there are a lot of things that can be done with an editing on and an activity or resource, edit will all pop up there. And you can be able to see that we have this turn editing on here available. I just want to see, still in the chat, if you have been able to, to click on turn editing, because the beginning, if we, you, we, we lose you in the beginning, then the, the next things will be much difficult. That's why I want everybody to be on board, even at the start. Uh, can just type, uh, type a four in the chat or say yes, that I'm, I've been able to turn editing on. I know some of you are already familiar with Moodle and <clears throat> that's very, very good, but others who are not, maybe they can be able to do this. Okay. Okay, now somebody has what? Uh, every, they have typed, uh, they have turned editing on where we can be able to, to make some adjustments. But as we said, we are supposed to create uh, a welcome a welcome message because we are building our course. Uh, we have been able to log into the course. We have been able to, to get to the, co uh, the course itself. We logged into Moere, oh, sorry, we logged into the learning management system into Moodle. And then we went into the, into the course. Uh, we have logged in uh, into the course and we are now into our course and we have turned editing on. So, but if you are going to create a course, you need to have the welcome message just beside you. I know uh, Richard must have sent you this uh, welcome message. Uh, in this welcome message, uh, Richard uh, sent you, uh, you have to prepare it basically in, a, in advance because you saw uh, Richard showing with pictures here, with different pictures here, but here we don't have pictures, but you must have this document prepared with the course that you have. Uh, so that's why he say you, uh, Richard was talking about you need to be to do instruction design, prepare your materials in advance so that you can be able to just uh, put the material in there. So here you have you see it's a table, just a table in Microsoft Word, and I've just gone away from the I've gone away from my uh, my course on the on the Moodle platform. Uh, so I'm just outside of of, the, of that course, and I'm just come to Microsoft Word to check on the to check this table and the welcome message. Uh, I just want to, uh, I think I don't want to take it for granted. I want to ask if, uh, uh, do you have uh, a welcome message? Because I think this welcome message was sent. Richard, you sent this welcome message, I think? Yes, it was sent out by Christine, it was sent out. Okay, okay, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, do you have your welcome message with you there opened on your computer? Maybe whoever has it can type five in the chat with us that welcome message in, the, in Microsoft Word on their computer. And they have tried to, to adapt it to their subject and also to put their names. They can type five in the chat. You can type five in the chat. Maybe people are getting it. They're downloading it. Please, you make sure you have the document because I'm going to, to demonstrate that. How would we make a welcome message so that we can be able to have our information there? Okay. Uh, so in the in this document, which is a, the welcome message, which was sent out, and the, of course you are supposed to make some adjustments on it, and then also make changes on you yourself because you are the instructor of the course, not just anyone else. And you can also make the course with all this information that you want. If I copy this whole uh, message which I'm going to take to the to the other side of the course. I need to prepare this message, and preferably we don't want to have lines in between these lines that are around in the table. We want to remove the the border lines. We want to remove the border lines. We can remove the border lines by just uh, going here and saying no borders of this, or you can you if you don't see this popping up. If that message doesn't pop up, you can still get it up here and you can be able to, this is just office things. So when you have this uh, office, you have prepared your work you have done already in Word. And when I go back to my course here, uh, I want to create a welcome message here at the beginning where I will have topic one. 
So I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to edit this first topic. And I need, I have to say that this is going to be custom. You need to click on custom, otherwise it is not going to allow you to edit here. So you need to click on custom to allow to edit at this point. Then you can be able to say, to put welcome, welcome message. So you have the welcome message here and and on the here is where we are going to put where is the summary we are going to put the the message itself so i'm going to go back to microsoft word here and i'm going to copy copy this whole entire word you can click on that arrow just up there uh, the cross so that you can be able to highlight everything you copy it from there go back to your model here and you can be able to control v to just Paste it there. So here you can see that you can uh, you have been able to paste your work there in your environment. So you have this there pasted. And down here, once the pasting has been done, uh, below here, I can decide to I click on save changes. Because our target is to build a course which is similar to that what Richard has shown. And when I do this, you can see that uh, in my, here it gives me, it's giving me a welcome message in my course welcome message. And it's also uh, giving the introduction of the course, but the facilitator here, but there's no picture with on the facilitators, uh, but we have, uh, uh, we have the different people here. So what, what I need to do is to ask again, have, if you have been able to insert just before you go to the image things, if you have been able to insert a welcome message, uh, you can type six in the chat. If you have been able to insert a welcome message, you can type six in the chat. Okay. Christine, uh, I hope I'm not talking alone. We are with you, uh, Dr. Mayende. Okay. Yeah, I was just asking if uh, if anyone has been able to at least insert a welcome message. Uh, can just say, okay, if you don't want, you can just share. I can stop sharing and you, I can stop sharing and somebody can share their screen. You can share your screen to show us the, uh, if you have started the welcome message. Or you can, you can unmute and speak because we want to be very, we want to make sure that we have a, a very interactive session. Good. Alice, at least Alice. Has Alice, been I, have, I have been able to insert the message. Okay, perfect. Okay, Alice has been able to insert the, insert the message, though you didn't uh, take the entire template the way it was with different sections with the images, because if you don't, uh, but you have the possibility you can edit that and put the table format so that you have an area for the pictures, an area for other information as Richard shared. But thank you very much, uh, Alice, yes. you have done a great job. You are, at least you are the first one to to be able to share. Anyone else want to share? That you have, so that we know you have your welcome message. Okay, uh, let me just again share my screen. Okay, we have been able to see that uh, this is our welcome message, which we have set up for all of us. Now, what we need to do is we want to go in here and we want to, change, to put a picture here a picture of uh, of uh, of some, a picture here and you also you can also make adjustments if you want for these particular ones so i, I am going to insert a picture uh, and what i will do i have just decided i will put my picture because I, I i needed consent from everyone before i put their picture there so when i go to i go back here i can edit i can edit uh, the topic under here, 
I have the possibility now, I can be able to scroll on this other side and I want to insert a picture here. So I want to, I want to highlight tutor's photo and I'm going to click on insert or edit an image. Insert or edit an image. So I'm going to click on that. And uh, then I have to, to browse uh, to pick the to pick the image that I am supposed to insert. So browse there. Uh, browse brings me here and I can be able to choose a file. Choose a file and I'm going to pick up uh, a photo, my photo actually. I will double click on that. So, so the, 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 the picture comes here, the, the name of the picture that I'm trying to insert. And then I click on upload this file. We have a hand up, uh, Dr. Mayende. Do you want to take that question? Yes, please. I am. I really want to be uh, okay. with an interactive session. Mm. Athanasius has a question. Athanasius, yes. go ahead. Thank you, Doctor. Yes. I, I, I tried to put the welcome message. Yes. But when, can I, can I show you what I did and what came? Okay, yeah, I think I, I can cancel this. It's very okay. important. Let me cancel this and I will just do it again. No problem. Please, you can go right ahead and share. Okay, so I... Yes, when I went to announcements, I think you're able to see my screen. Yes, we can see your screen. Yes, when I came to announcements, um, and, I posted, and I posted, this is what came. Okay, you, I think you put, it, you put it in the wrong place. But uh, yeah, you put in announcement. You can just go back one step, uh, go back one step. We went to topic one. We actually went and looked at edit on topic one. I, I oh, can, okay. uh, yeah, I can just uh, let me annotate. Like here, where you have topic one, there's yes. edit on this other side. Do you see what I have, where I've written? I have put annotations. Yes. On that side. So you go to that okay. edit. Okay. On topic one. Yes. Edit topic, highlight. Hide topic. Yes. Edit topic is what we need. Yes. Okay. And at this point is where we said uh, that welcome message. Do you do you have the do you have the the word document? Yes, I have it. I have it. I already copied it and pasting it. Okay. Okay. Good. Perfect. And then you can save. Professor, I have a follow up, a follow on message. Uh, sorry, question. Okay. This is Irene from Aprohon. Okay. And Irene. Welcome message at topic level or at course level. And we are putting. Okay, you are saying. Does, we are it putting... Go, does it go under um, topic level? So, for example, if I have, I'm imagining that I have, say, five topics. Mm. So, putting welcome message at every topic? No, the welcome message is, uh, for us, we are developing the course, and we are just putting the welcome message at once, only at the, the beginning of the, of the course. Just oh. like we have used topic number one, as mm. it's going to be to take the welcome message. And this is where we are, like here we have uh, announcements, we have welcome message, and the, after the welcome message, we have topic two. Topic two, we are going to put totally different things. Okay, perfect. We're just using okay. this, yes. Uh, Dr. Mayende. Yes. Dr. Mayende, we can say that um, those topic labels, topic one, topic two, topic three, are, are, are more or less section labels, section, just label sections. It's not that mm. topic one should go there, but we're just labeling. So we are going to use them the way we wish. We shall, we're going to change them and reorganize the way we want that to be organized. Okay, perfect. I thought, then the second question is uh, on the template of the welcome message that you gave. 
I saw Alice copied just the text that was on the left, but there were those sections where the photo, I think. So that template, yes. and this template was shared by Richard. So I'm imagining I'm starting from scratch. How do I generate that template all? Actually, you, when you have the template which Richard has shared with you, you only need to repurpose the information that is there to your course. Uh, because what, the information, what, yes? Maybe what you can display for her, she's yeah. asking that where did that template come from? Maybe yeah. if you go to Microsoft Word, just below that, 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 that and then you just show that this, this is a table, it's just a, it's a table, but you just keep inserting information. Because she was asking where did that table come from? Yeah, yes. no, that, like that table. If you go to a new document, a new Word document, and you put yeah. there columns and sheet, uh, columns and rows, then just show that this information is in this, Go to because it's a table. You can oh, put, yes. back the, put back the, the, the grids. You can put back the grids. You can first put them back so that you can say it is a table. Okay, all right. So it's, I, I was wondering. If it's a table which has rows and columns. So uh, we inserted a table, then it keep, kept fitting information in different parts of the table, then we moved the, 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 the lines. All right, I get oh, okay. it. So, so Godfrey, you can go on, I think, inserting the welcome message and then the photo. Okay. Maybe so, before Dr. Godfrey uh, goes on, uh, to Gumena, do you have another question or that is an old hand? And other colleagues, please, you can raise up your hand or you can text a chat and then we address your concerns. Okay, you can go on Dr. Mayende. Okay, thank you very much. So once you have now been able to, to put your welcome message, which we are putting, you want to say, this is, this is me. And when you realize here, you can see that there's a, a big space here. You want to eliminate it maybe somehow. You can also go to edit. You have edit topic and the welcome message will allow you to make a lot of readjustments because th that means there are some spaces in between here and uh, you could also maybe find some spaces in between here. So when you take the cursor there, it's, it's there, but you can, I can just backspace to create some, to remove uh, those spaces that are, are in between, are in between there. So here, what I was now going to, what I was demonstrating is how do you insert a, an image? So I'm going to highlight. You can either highlight or you can just, okay, delete that, uh, that particular session. Uh, you want to put a picture here. Okay, maybe you want to put a picture, you put the cursor there, and then you click on, uh, uh, when you take the cursor near this insert image, uh, you can see on, on, on the on the bars there are some tools there. So you go where there's insert image, there's a, 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 some pop up uh, message. Can you, go back, a, can you go, go back to see where you found, you got insert an image? Uh, where, where I found what? Insert an image, this. Okay, yes, That's when you, image. okay, when I, I can just uh, perhaps I can save this just to be sure that, okay. And I go back to show you how I got here. So once you have your welcome message, your welcome message is here and you can't edit from this point. You cannot just edit. You have to go to, uh, you go to edit and edit topic to be able to do that. So when I click on edit topic, edit topic is giving me, yeah, edit topic, uh, will give me the table the way it is here uh, and the, what may I do because sometimes I can't see everything but you can go down and find a scroller to bring me on this other side. So here I have this where I want the table to be and above here you will be able to see insert or edit images. I hope you have now seen where it is. So I will click on yes. insert, insert image I'll click on browse and I'll click on choose file. I have already prepared my image because it must be somewhere, but 
I have this one, I will double click on it. I have this, the name is there, it can be different type. And then I, I click on upload this file. So uploading the file, say just coming. So here it shows that the file has been uploaded. But you remember it will come with different sizes that sometimes it's very big. Uh, but here you even have the option of just trying to, to put it on in, in, a, in a size which you want. Maybe if I put 180 and the, size, the, the photo is just going to reduce. It can be very big with different numbers here. Okay. And then after you have done that, you save the image. You have now inserted, remember we said browse, uh, uh, browse, and then we have said the size can be changed here. The image is going to appear there, but also before you save, you can put a description for the image. I can put a description for the image that this is uh, Godfrey Mayende. It's more, but they allow us up to 125. 125 characters. So then I click on save. So I have that. So I want to know if you are able to have that, uh, then you can let us know either through the chat or you can even, we have a very small class, so you can just talk. Talk loud and we know that you have been able, if you, if you insert an image there, then you, We are trying to insert. Okay. When you when you finish. Okay. After that, actually, when you insert the image, maybe let me just again save the changes. I'll click save the changes. Yeah. So what we, we are doing is we are going to wait if you can, if you have been able to insert your image on your course welcome message, you can just type a one. We are going back to one. You type a one in the chat. If you have, you have successfully been able to insert an image, type a one. If we have like two people or three people, then we can be able to see from what they have been able to do. You can type a one in the chat or if you can't type a one in the chat, you can just speak that now I've finished. If you have been able to, to put your image, to put your picture, good. At least uh, somebody, Kristen so, has uh, been able to decide. I have another question. Yes, so, Irene. I'm in a room where this echo. My question is regarding the photos. For example, if you're handling the topic three people, this yes. other call, and I want to include their images, is that possible? Yes, that's what we are going to go on next because there's, okay. there's another facilitator here. Okay. So Thanks. we wanted first to be sure that somebody has been able to insert the first one. Okay. Then we can be able to proceed. All right. Thank you. Because this image actually creates some identity and uh, students feel very happy when they already have seen the picture there other than just seeing text alone. Anyone else who has uh, also been able to insert an image? A photo in their course? Dr. Mayende. Yes, Richard. Yes, Richard. Maybe you can also post the name there, Godfrey Mayende, below, below your photo. Yes, I'm, I'm, I, I think I'm. <laughs> <laughs> but I can update you. I can update you with that with one of my notes. <laughs> okay. Yes, you can actually send me yours, and I can put a second picture. You can send me on on the. Uh, in the chat, you can send me in the chat privately. I can do able to answer. Uh, moi yes. également, je n'ai pas les informations qui sont dans le tableau dans mon, sur mon écran. Donc, est-ce qu'il y a moyen que je partage mon écran? Peut-être j'ai des insuffisances par rapport à ce que vous traitez. That was a question. 
Hello, Christine. It's all right, Godfrey. Yes. Yeah, he wants to share his screen. Can you stop sharing? Then he shares and you help him. Okay. Someone wants to share so that you can help him. Yes. Okay, then. Yeah. Yes, Elaine has a question. Maybe she can speak out and. Yes, uh-huh. So let him speak out. Someone will translate for you. Okay. Oui. En fait, je disais que les le tableau que dans lequel vous êtes en train de changer des informations, photo et autres. Vous voyez, chez moi, là, c'est vrai que j'ai mis le mot d'accueil. Bonjour à tous, mais vous voyez qu'il n'y a pas de, des écrits là où il faut aller pour changer photo, télécharger tout ça. Translation. Yes, that's table. Okay, so um, okay. let me let me copy it and let me copy it into that chat. Let me copy it into that chat. Maybe you didn't get that copy which you emailed. Did you get the copy that we emailed out? Uh, but also, I shared uh, the same oui, copy pas le mail, bien sûr. in the chat room here on Zoom, so he can also download it from the Zoom chat room. Listen, you can don't put there again now. Maybe many messages oh. have now passed. You can put it again oh. now. Okay, okay. But okay. he, but he has said something lastly, which I did not also know what he had. Yeah. Would you please translate for the last message? But does he have it? Ah, this is okay then. It's okay. So what help do you want us to give him? What help? Oh, have I gone off air? Je disais les vous voyez. Vous êtes allé copier là où il faut mettre la photo. Vous êtes allé rechercher la photo quelque part pour. Euh, donc télécharger et moi ces informations dans, sur ma page donc il n'y en a pas c'est ce que je disais est-ce qu'il y a moyen que je puisse en avoir vous me dites qu'il y a euh, un lien dans le chat il faut aller vers le lien et puis copier et mettre yes I think uh, Richard he's at the welcome message he wants to put the table there the welcome message that's what I am thinking and the, the word the table you tell you you tell tell tell, tell him that he, we have inserted uh this in the chat they are going to put the in the chat they are putting the 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 the, 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 the welcome message table yeah. so he can be able to use it he can just use it the way it is we'll edit it later il doit d'abord télécharger le message Est-ce qu'il a déjà téléchargé le message? I'm saying that he has first to, to download the message. Maybe he can share, if there is still time, can he share and we swear he is and we move? This can is even write it's... in the chat, I can respond to him in the French. Thank okay, you. He's already sharing, actually. Oh, okay. Okay. merci. It's five o'clock. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have a hand up from Alain. Is is that person speaking Alain or somebody? Yes, it's Alain. Yeah, Alain has the, is the one who has been speaking. Oui. Okay, Alain, can you put down your hand if you have finished? Thank oui, en fait, je suis en train de me débrouiller là pour euh, euh, essayer de vous rejoindre correctement. Je vois dans les chat, j'ai... J'ai cliqué sur les liens et là on me sort euh, available course et puis euh, la liste de cours selon les enseignants et tout ça. Je cherche là où moi je biologie moléculaire. Je suis là, je clique sur biologie moléculaire. 
pour retrouver, je ne sais pas si c'est ça. So Alain, can you stop sharing your screen in the meantime, and then we shall continue to support you. You can unshare your screen so that the facilitator can oh. proceed, but we shall continue to, 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 to troubleshoot and help. Thank you. Okay. Oui, je me recherche. Euh, partager audio. Il y a des, des co-hosts co qui peuvent aider. Les co-hosts qui peuvent aider, oui. Je ne vois pas. Ok. Oui, yeah. so, uh, basically, uh, I was asking about the welcome message, which we have seen coming here, and I think it will be supported, I think, later on, maybe. And the, here we are seeing that there is the, the welcome, the, the profile picture, and we can be able to edit this profile picture. I can just go on the, I can go back and the edit information that is there. If I want to insert another picture, and uh, we have this already here. This is where uh, my friend Elaine was. And uh, what he only needed to do is, it's supposed to be doing well. copying and pasting what is in the table, and then he will be able to insert this image. So here, Richard has advised that I should just put my name. Okay. I, he doesn't like my name to be near, near his, his name, so. He's <laughs> <my picture. laughs> but I'll send you my picture. I'll send you that picture. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah. Elaine is still saying something, I think. Okay, you go on. No, I fait pas de question, mais au contraire, je recherche le lien dans le chat. Okay. Okay, right. can you put the hand down in the meantime, Elaine? Thank you. Richard, did you send me the picture? Yes, okay. in the chat somewhere. Yes, You've seen, seen it? it? Yes, I've seen, ah. seen it. Okay. Il faut désactiver. Good for you. I've seen it. Yes. So if yeah, you, you want to insert, if you want to insert a picture here, another mm. picture, just like Irina said, so you have here, you have the the possibility here to, to click on insert image. So when you click on insert image, you can browse and it allows you to choose the file. And in this particular case, I'll put the file from the desktop. I think Richard this picture I have put it on the desktop here. I can double now, double click on uh, Richard. Here I have Richard Kajumbula.png and then I can be able to, to upload the picture. So here I'll uh, I'll put uh, I'll put a description of Richard, and Richard, and perhaps his picture is already small, one forty by one seventy four. That's already pre done, uh, much better. So I can just click on uh, save image. Yes. Save image is going to now bring, uh, here it is now bringing that we have two pictures. We have one for uh, one mine, which ends there, and we have the one of Richard here. And if you have a third lecturer or a third facilitator, you can still go do the same. Click on image and you can be able to go to, to that. Image and insert, and once those and click on save changes. Yes, then here you have now you can see in this course we have a uh, we have this uh, but we also have Richard there, but we can also. In Instead of another images as we want. 
So we already now have this uh, welcome. Uh, welcome. Okay. So that's what we, we have. Now the next thing we are going to do is basically after we have looked at the we have now looked at the inserting the welcome message on the welcome message. Now we want to see uh, we want to create other sections and we can create a section now called resources and tools because you need the resources that you are supposed to be inserting. So I can just use this arrow here to edit the topic name and the, I am going to say resources. I'm going to call this resources and, and tools. And resources and tools and then I'll press enter. So here you see we have now resources and tools and where we can be able to upload our resources in here. So here under the resources area, uh, you can be able to click on add an activity or resource if you want to, to add a file, because we want to see how do you upload a file inside there. So if you want to add a file, you can just click on uh, add activity or resource and under here activity or resource you have a possibility you can see that is a file there are many things when you got all there are many here assignment books and many other uh, activities so here we have activities and resources so under activities you can see that uh, here we have activities and here we have uh, resources if you if they are here and you can't see what you want you can narrow it down to resources or in activities, then you can be able to see that. Uh, when we click on file, now this is what we wanted, file. Because we are going to add a file. Yes, under the file. So here we can say, maybe we have a course outline. Um, maybe, I just want to put start there. Guide. I want to add a course called the study guide. And I'm going to attach this is the name of the what I want. And then here I'm going to attach a file by clicking here. Or you can just click here on the blue button. And then you choose, you choose a file uh, under files here. I'll just go here, go there. Under files, I'm going to go to study guide. I have already preset because I have set up, my, I have a study guide. I have different uh, materials because you have prepared your resources already in the folder. So you can, you have the welcome message, you have the study guide, you have indicative content, you have the course guide. So you can just come here, you have the slides for SME. So I can just click on, uh, on that study guide, and then I click on upload this file. Upload the file, and then after uploading the file, you can save and display, or you can save and return to the course. When you save and return the course, it goes back to the to the course environment. Let me just do that. So, so here we are now able to see, we are able to see, we are able to see that we have a study guide here. The name is their study guide. And that's how you can be able to attach. If you want to attach another file, maybe it's PowerPoint. I can also click here and say, click on add an activity. And I will click at on add a file. And maybe I call this uh, introduction. Let me just call it a uh, name introduction. And then I look for the file. You can either click here or you just click at this point. Then you can choose the, once this has popped up, you choose the file and I'm picking the PowerPoint which I used to present today. Double click on it, the name is going to be there and you can upload that file.
Dr. Mayende? Yes. Yeah, so we have uh, 10 more minutes to go. So you can see what you can be able to cover, maybe changing the sections into topic names. Then we can, yes. maybe what you can do in the 10 minutes. Okay, no problem. Okay, then once that is done here, you can be able to save and return to courses. So that means we have uh, been able to add the resources that we want and the resources are there in the resource, resource folder. Uh, then uh, we have, uh, uh, once we have added these resources, uh, we shall see later on how you can be able to interlink the resources with the some sections in the activities or in the activities. But uh, and just before I go to that, let me just show you that when you have like here, we have three topics. We have up to topic number three, but if you want to add other topics, you can just go and add the, add the topics. When you click on add topics, you can even add up to, if you want three or four, depending on the number of topics that you will be required. So I can just click on uh, add topics and add it. So it allows me to have as many topics that I can edit because not only three topics are there. And here we are going to now add the, the topics. Uh, many times when you, you are going to add these topics, you have already in a way pre-prepared. You have prepared your course and you know the units, the unit names that you have there. And now here the unit titles are here as topics. And therefore I can just click on maybe the first one uh, I just copy that. And when I come here, I can edit this one. And I, I can paste it there and press enter. So if you have, uh, depending on the topics that you have, so I have that topic there. Uh, I can go and look for topic number two, which is talking about this. I can also copy that. And I go back to here and I can also add uh, I can add another topic there. So you can, first of all, go on populating the topic names, all the topic names up to down. So you have all these topic names as we keep uh, going. Yes? Maybe you can pause for like for about two minutes and we see if uh, colleagues have uploaded at least one file. Okay. In the tools and also have renamed at least two sections because the rest can be done out uh, after this. Maybe about okay. two minutes or three. At about sixteen minutes past five, we shall we shall then proceed and see what else we can demonstrate in that in the four minutes that that you have. But you can see what um, if there is anyone who has succeeded. Maybe you can ask for what they they can type. Maybe five in the chat. They can now type a two. Can you okay. type a two in the chat if you have been able to to at least upload a file? Ha, my at least Alice. I'm happy I have my Alice moving with Alice. Anyone else so that joins Alice so that we can be able to moving together if you have been able to. Okay. Alice has been able to. Uh, Alice. Alice, can you share your screen just for members to see, please? Yes, yes, I can. Yes, please, yeah. You are sharing yes. the table, Alice. Yeah, I can see. Let me, let me, let me share the light. Can you see? Yes, we can see. I have uploaded the file and then yes, yes. Uploaded. Yes. Great. Yeah, you have done great work. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I uh, think good I've, good good yes. Good Maybe you can guide how so I let her not stop sharing how to change that one from topic to okay. Can you share again, share you again Alice? Yes. Share again your screen. 
Okay, now we want to change the topic Topic two. We want to change topic two to, to res, uh, resources and tools. We are renaming that topic two to resources and tools. Yes. You can, okay, you can type resources and tools. Okay, you, you had copied the other side as well. Okay, just put it there. Resource, resources and tools. Good. Then you save. Yes. No, you don't need to write. Okay. Save. You don't need to write it down here. Yeah. Don't repeat it inside there. It will not appear. Don't repeat it inside. We don't yes. we, didn't, we didn't want that word to appear there again appear the second here. time. Mm. Yeah, That's but okay. you you don't put you it there. Uh -huh. Okay, it's fine. Okay, I think that's a grant. Uh, Richard, you said I have how many minutes? Now there are three, but you okay. can take a section name also, one topic at least. After you I want change, them. go down. Change. Okay. Topic number uh -huh. three. Yes. Click in the pencil there. Mm -hmm. It's coming. Yeah. It's always shorter when you click in the small pencil. Other than uh, so going topic, through that. Maybe topic one, whatever it is. So what's your, the top the first the first topic? Maybe it can be orientation. Orientation into the course. My course is called the leadership. Okay, then you save. You save. Okay. Yeah. So, Godfrey, she needs to add more sections there. I think. Yes. You can, you can add. Yes, you can add more sections if you want by clicking on Add Topics. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Depending on the number of topics that you have, then you can click on add. Okay, Richard, yes. does that include the evaluation that I have to make, the three minutes? The evaluation? That yes, I, had. I think you can go ahead and run in the, the maintenance. Yeah, okay. right now, yeah, you can run okay. the other. Okay, no problem. Okay, then th uh, thank you very much. The time was uh, quite very small and yet we wanted to be with a much more engaging, but I would still ask, uh, I'm going to ask uh, a, sim a small question, which I'm going to put in the chat. Um, let me just put in the chat. A link. Uh, this link goes to that link is going to to menti.com and it's just asking what aspects have you been okay, what aspects have been easy for you to learn? That's what I have uh, asked in that mentimeter. What aspects have been easy for you to learn? Perhaps I can even share that. What aspects have been easy for you to learn? So you can go to the link. I can see someone has been able to say changing topics. Yeah, what aspects have been easy, have been easy for you to learn? You go to Mentimeter, uh, click on Mentimeter and the, in that link and you just add the ones which have been easy. You can add even more than one or two. Hello? 
Okay, someone yes, else hello. telling us. Anyone else? Yes, at least three people have been able to add. Good. I can see people saying, uh, inserting welcome message, changing topics, welcome message, logins, changing topics. Uh, I, I, I don't know uh, the French person can take the day and this and difficulty he was just facing difficulties hey okay <laughs> okay yeah but uh that's yes indicated here yeah. uh logins we have welcome so this gives us some information but also we uh i i am going to give you another mentimeter just shortly uh that one while it's continuing uh, there's another one which I'm, I have copied in the chat again. And in this one, we are, I'm just asking, what would you wish to cover in the next practical session? I had prepared them prior, yes. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Thank you. Yes. What, what would you wish to cover in the next practical session? Just give us some information here. I'm waiting for my friend Alice. Alice, I know for you can submit. <laughs> and Nicholas. Okay. Uh, creating materials themselves. That's what somebody has uh, Basically, this is anonymous, so you can just submit. Creating materials themselves. How to put activities, like quizzes. Okay, that is noted. Uh, anyone else? Two people have been able to tell us. But you can add as, uh, you can uh, submit as many times as, as you want. Uh, discussion forum. Uh, so someone has to read for me that one, please. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Then putting all necessary information. That's uh. Okay, then assignments, uh, somebody wants to, how to put in assignments. I think uh, this gives us uh, a glimpse of uh, we're supposed to have covered discussion forum, we're supposed to have covered quizzes, uh, creating materials themselves. I think that's the instruction itself, trying to develop the materials uh, and the preparing uh, what the French person French is saying, person. preparing the materials and have all the information in place so that when it comes to practical, you already have that information. If you don't have it, then it becomes a little bit problematic and delays the process. Creating different pages under a topic to allow learners move back and forth. Okay, that's also under lessons, which is supposed to be covered. Uh, I think uh, this is what we have seen for this question. And in this question, we have also seen that uh, uh, the difficulty thing comes out it's also big that some people had some challenges because it were coming to the practical for the very first time, but still we have some people who have been able to pick up something which is very important as well. Uh, I think that's all over to you, Richard. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Mayende, uh, for that presentation. We have only one minute. I don't know whether uh, someone has any question, any comment in this one minute before I hand back to Christine. Anyone has a comment, a question, anything in the chat that you need to you need to comment about? Uh, if you want Dr. Mayende to talk about before we go back to the main program. Yes, uh, Athanasius, your, your hand is up. Yes, thank you, doctor. I would like to know from, from Dr. Mayende. Uh, the aspect of deleting these items you have created. If you want to delete them, does it have a time limit or you can delete them at any time you want? Yeah, since you 
since you have the you are the course instructor you can remove them and readjust them the way you want hello okay thank you i think you are talking about the topic you can remove what you have added you can remove the documents you have added no problem with that yeah. okay richard over to you okay thank you so much dr mind i thank you colleagues for for this um for your attendance i thank you dr mind for what you have done i know that we may need to call you again to come and show us a little bit more and also probably to revise what we have done uh, the recording is going to be shared in the Slack platform. We shall be able to, to continue this conversation. Again, colleagues, we still register. If you have colleagues out there who are supposed to attend these sessions, please, please, please uh, share the link with them. We can register them in the platform. We can still continue training in this model platform. And we're going to, after demonstrating the practical, we shall go back to the instructional design and learn how we create this in a more uh, organized, structured way so uh thank you over to you christine yes thank you very much uh dr richard but also many many thanks to dr mayende uh, i think colleagues let us give him uh, a hand a hand clap in the chat you've done us good dr mayende thank you um so allow me to thank everyone as we continue to clap <laughs> for attending our fourth session. This was really interactive. You can uh, agree with me, and this is what we wanted. Thank you very much. But also allow me to thank our colleagues, uh, the US ECHO team uh, that are on this uh, platform. We have uh, Constance, we have Yuta, we have uh, Professor Bruce. Thank you very much, and we are waving for you. They have really been supportive in the background. So, um, some of the comments I wanted to make, I think uh, Dr. Richard has mentioned them. I know the time hasn't been enough, but uh, colleagues, we are going to continue this interaction, more especially in our Slack platform. So I implore us to go and uh, you know, visit Slack. And in case you are not uh, already on Slack, feel free to drop me an email using the same email where we have been communicating from. Uh, then we should be able to share with you uh, the link and have you uh, get onto Slack. So we are going to continue this interaction. I'm sure uh, Dr. Uh, Mayende is also going to be on that platform in case there are any questions, you can answer them. But uh, we are going to discuss and see what comes uh, the next, uh, next session, that is next month in November. Please don't forget to log on uh, the last Wednesday of the month. Uh, we shall communicate uh, the exact date, but it's usually the last Wednesday of the month. Please uh, invite your colleagues who could have missed this, but also to mention that we are going to share the recording, the video recording, both English and French uh, on Slack, but also on email. So you can always go back and, and, and revisit what we have shared today. Otherwise, this has been really very good and uh, we are happy that uh, this has uh, gone this far. So that is it I can share with us for now, but I want to also mention that in case you want to claim uh, a certificate of attendance, please take a short survey. It has been pasted in the chat. Uh, I'm not sure whether you have seen the link, but if you take this survey, you will uh, get a certificate automatically and it is very short. Please take it up, um, but also, uh, this survey is very important uh, in terms of informing us the next steps. If there are any issues, any challenges, then it helps us, the data helps us to uh, adjust and uh, offer the next session in accordance with what you'll have provided. But it is really short, uh, please take it up. So in case you've not uh, registered, please register so that we are able to track. Uh, it is also important, that is very important data for us. Uh, moving forward. So those are the few comments I had for us. I know our time is fast spent, but uh, we are really excited that this has taken place and uh, we are all here. Thank you very much and have a blessed evening and morning. Over to you. Thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Mayende stays, I think, for the debrief, yeah? Yes. Dr. So Mayende, please don't go out. Mm, thank you, everyone. Let the organizing team stay for just a few minutes.
Constance, are you able to, oh, Kenneth is here. Kenneth, are you able to take us in another room? Kenneth, Kenneth? I'm just, let me just remove the ones that are staying. Yeah, maybe okay. Okay, maybe they can be in the waiting room. Okay, thank you. Uh, Christine, the interpreters are asking if we need them to stay. Yes, we would want them to stay just for a few minutes because the feedback may be important for you as well. I think it's okay now. It's okay now. Okay, thank you. So, <laughs> thank you, everyone. Uh, I think I will not say much. Let me open this up for comments, thoughts, what has gone well, what has not gone well, what can we change? Over to you, colleagues. Do we still have Bruce on? Let me see. Oh, it looks like he had to attend another meeting. Okay, so Yuta, over to you, Connie and everyone. Yeah, congratulations. I thought that was a really wonderful hands-on session. Uh, very well done, super on the timekeeping. And I like the structure of, you know, starting out with the uh, short overview of like, you know, you have to have objectives and you know, kind of a course structure and then getting really into it. And of course it takes a while and uh, you were ambitious uh, to try to cover so much, uh, but I think uh, you know, people were mainly able to follow along and they'll appreciate to learn more, like especially about the quizzes that'll be interesting. Um, yeah, interpretation, there were a few times People noted that it was off and then I sometimes switch back and forth and there was a little bit of choppiness in, uh, in terms of internet with the interpretation uh, at times, but uh, I think overall it went well. Also the switching back and forth when the French participant spoke that went pretty well for the most part, yeah. So yeah, I think this was a great session. Thank you, Yuta. Yes, Bonnie. Yeah, I think it went really well and uh, the presenters seemed very uh, patient and in answering the questions of the, uh, the audience and uh, getting them to where they needed to be. Um, the thing I think I would mention was the registration forms still seem to have that problem of being view only and that was mentioned a couple of times in the chat at yeah, the Google Doc. Um, and then um, there's a noise, I don't know if I was the only one who's hearing it when someone joins the session, that chime sound. I don't know if you want to keep that or to disable that. Um, whenever someone would join, there'd be like a beep, or some kind of noise that would uh, sound uh, when they joined the session. I'm not sure if everybody can hear that or just those who are co-hosts and hosts. I'm not sure how that works. Yeah. And um, yeah, like Peter mentioned with the interpreters, just at the beginning, there was that problem with the switching, but they worked it out. And uh, after that, there was um, minimal problems. Thank you. Thank you, Connie. Um, we, are, we apologize um, if there were problems with interpretation. It was mainly technical because we were working and you cannot hear yourself on the virtual simultaneous interpretation. You can't hear what is going on. So it's only when the people who are listening realize that the interpretation is not coming that you can get the signal and that take some lapse of time. We apologize, but otherwise we were working and it was an enjoyable session. Um, a suggestion may be that for one or two people who may be completely new to the practical lesson, they may need to go in a separate session with, with somebody to help them uh, individually because the 
the, the, the Francophone speaker certainly had many more difficulties than others. And he needed to be attended to individually or followed up even now after the session. Okay, I think that's a good comment. Thank you. Thank you, Edith and your team. We appreciate. And uh, in moving forward, I'm wondering whether we could uh, be purposive and have one of us who speaks French to listen in and maybe catch any hiccup early enough and inform the interpreters, because sometimes the participants may think that, you know, the problem is general. I don't know what you think, but uh, if we can have somebody, you know, join the French and be able to alert the interpreters just immediately. I think that- The echo IT message, which was in the chat, actually was very good because that's when I knew that there was a problem. Right. Then I checked everything here and it seemed to be okay. Uh, but uh, there could have been a loose connection or something. But when you touch, touch, and you put everything in order, then it works again, and it worked. Okay. Thank you for the message. Okay, thank you. Okay, Dr. Mayende, do you have any comments or Richard? Yeah, thank you. It has been a very exciting moment. And the, the teacher in me, tells me that I cannot just move and finish everything. I want to be with everyone practically and the, the time is not enough. And I kept getting the time notices. We have 20 minutes, we have 10 minutes in my chat and too much pressure was mounting up and yet <laughs> I was not moving. And as the Jota has mentioned, I think we were very ambitious uh, in the in the program. We had put so many things, and yet we wanted many people to participate. And I was uh, excited that there are people who are able to share their work during the process because when there is that conversation uh, up and down, it helps people to learn better and to be able to keep what they have learned, other than me just going through up to the end. So I I loved that uh, interaction and where you, uh, Christine comes in and tells you that, oh, there's this other person, why don't you let them share? Uh, there's one who has put up the hand, that was very perfect, helps a lot. Richard comes in and says, okay, maybe we should do this and this kind of thing. That was very helpful, I was very, very happy. Uh, and I think that maybe in the in the future, when you are running practicals, maybe we, we have to, to plan them, maybe either to be bigger or plan them to, if you have one hour, then we need to be very restrictive and we don't have to be very ambitious. We keep in mind that we want everyone to learn so we will be able to have that interaction conversation. Yeah, but I am excited over this and I'm happy for having this opportunity to meet, to meet new people. <laughs> I'm very happy, yeah. Mm. Over right. to you. Thank, so thank you, you uh, so much, um, good friend. And I thank the team for all the, for all the support. Uh, I know, Christine, where we began the idea of having a platform, having our own model, you know, how we have been working day and night. But, I, but I'm so happy that everything, you know, we, had, we have a platform. That's very, very important. And that we can, we can now follow up our colleagues. They can even practice outside this very uh, training session. They can continue uh, practicing. Um, I thank the entire team, Ken and the people in the background, registering people have been registering for as they were uh, working, and it has been really very good. So I thank, I thank the support team, and for is encouraging us, Juta <laughs> uh, and Kony um, and uh, the, the, the colleague was who is not even here, for is supporting us and encouraging us. We are doing this for the first time, but uh, I'm glad in the first time ness of it we are trying to do. So I thank you, and I, I know that we're so ambitious. I knew it from the beginning, but um, we shall improve the time. We shall decide whether to, to, to continue the practical even next time to complete, then go back to our instructional design theory. So over to you, uh, Christine. Thank you, Richard. I know our time is fast spent, but this is very important. Um, I want to assure you colleagues, I was sweating. I was, I'm seated in the boardroom. It is so spacious. 
but I was sweating. <laughs> Why? There are so many messages that were coming to me directly. Uh, where, and I think some of them, I post pasted them on chat. Other people had, you know, other technical issues that I had to sort. So in other words, I had to divide my mind between paying attention to what Godfrey is saying. And I was worried he's going to, to spot on me and say, Christine, share your screen because I was not there. So, but it was worth. It was worth. I'm really happy that it has worked out. And uh, so Dr. Mayende would love if you share with us the results of Mentimeter so that it can further guide us. But I also want to say uh, where we are going to plan again early, but we are likely to go back to this practical session before we can transition to you know, other uh, parts like we had uh, indicated. And I am sure now that this team has seen this practical bit, most likely they will inform their colleagues who probably have missed and they will come on. So to Utah and Connie, uh, probably we may want to plan uh, early, earlier, we shall maybe engage you whether next week or the other week so that we you know, prepare to do this a little more because this again being a community of practice, we are not up to you know, running to finish a syllabus, but rather to make sure that our team members get the skills they, they need. So that is it from me. Unless anybody has a final word, uh, that is it from us. Thank you very much for all the support. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Okay, merci, au revoir. Merci, au revoir. Merci, au revoir. Christine, do you want me to share the... the yes, the results. I mean, you are, mm. Do you want them here in the chat? I can't even no, no, put no. them here. No, no, no. Being people emailed. Kari, kari. It was really good. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, Dr. Kajumbula. No. Mm. Eh, we have come from far, but I'm yes. happy it has worked out. Richard, yes, please. You, you must be sweating. Yes. Put on your video <laughs> to grab it. <laughs> they, have no, they, they have not sweating. I'm, this, I'm not sure. I had Dr. Mayende there. Hey, you were confident. Why are we talking about your face? So I was okay. Hey, <laughs> 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 no, we have no problem. <laughs> But I'm really happy. Imagine we finished on time. Yes. So, ah, oh my is okay. Yeah. So when okay, we do so this, when, when we restructured and doing round two of yes. these things, we are, we are learning lessons. We shall see how to We are learning. But Dr. Richard, we are going to discuss early, I think next week. And we it's plan. Okay. Most okay. likely we may have to bring Godfrey again. But anyway, let's discuss. Mm, we shall, we shall, after our meeting, we shall see the way forward. With the way forward, all in right. Next meeting, the next meeting is not even so. Don't worry about it so much. Hmm. Because it's like continue I'm second not day going out of but approve. Ah, uh, tetu ya kujawa doctor Godfrey until until you have finished it. Hey, what you like? Ah, okay. Okay, we're going to have another meeting at 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 six. You know that. Hey, which just remind me I had from what you ASU, there is a lecture at six. No, me, I was supposed to, it starts at five. Mine, hey, I missed hey. it. Hey. Hey. I mean, oh, I come on. At six. Okay. And you are saying the one for yes, yes, I know. Yeah, yes. I have two. There's one of um, coaching was at five, and there's one for SU. I'm going my to come for this. My coaching was at four, and I missed it already. But hmm. the, the six o'clock, don't miss the six o'clock class. I'm not going to miss that one. And then about 7.38, we're going to have another one for that tomorrow's presentations at uh, Child Health. Eh -huh. we'll again, but that presentation, we have to plan for it. So 8 o'clock, 7.30 today. OK, fine, no problem. That one, I'll tell you the one of 11, meeting of 11 tonight, but when we are in the other one. Hey, Let us leave Do you know that <laughs> this, this thing is being recorded? I hope Ken will cut out this last part. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.